So last week I made a video reacting to another video that I made about four years ago. Now in that video, there was a lot of basic mistakes that I made. So today I wanted to make a whole video addressing those mistakes. Now this is about the spot that I filmed that video four years ago. I mean, same window light, everything. For the changes I'm gonna be making, I'm actually gonna be filming with this camera because I do not recommend an action camera. Tiny sensor, wide angle lens, definitely get an actual camera, even if it's a point and shoot like this or a DSLR. But that was the first thing I noticed. So just buying a simple LED light panel like this this one can make that look a whole lot better. And getting a very basic light stand like this off Amazon, this one was $10. It will do its job just fine, but just having a way to mount your light so that way you can position where your light is pointing in your video is very, very important. I mean, granted, this light panel can be mounted on the camera, but putting it on a light stand will help a whole lot. And since it is battery powered, you just kind of turn it on, you're ready to go. And now moving on to the background. When I filmed that video, it was relatively messy. It was unpleasant to watch. So if I just pick a different spot in my room that's a little bit more clean, a little bit more presentable for the video to film at. It'll just help the scene a whole lot better. So I'm thinking I set the camera right here and use my desk as the background. And just moving random crap off your desk that you're not gonna need for the shot will help a whole lot. Investing in some sort of tripod will help a whole lot. This one do not recommend. But I made a video about budget gear that you should definitely check out. I have some great options linked in that video. Another thing I noticed in that video was the audio wasn't really good. I didn't have an actual microphone to use to record the video. So I was just using the onboard microphone in the action camera, which, you know, onboard microphones do the job, but since it's an action camera, it doesn't have the best microphone. This camera has a much better internal microphone. The other thing I noticed is the audio levels. They're very inconsistent. They would constantly peak and get all distorted, so it wouldn't sound nearly as good. But definitely, I recommend investing in some sort of external microphone. But for the sake of this video, I am going to use the internal mic on the SX60HS. All right, so now we actually get into setting up the set so that way it looks best for our video. Let's get into it. The other thing with setting up your shot, use these little lines here to make sure that you are perfectly in frame for your video. All right, we got our camera all set up. Now it's time to position the light. I personally would recommend putting the light at a slight angle so that way it's hitting your face, casting a nice shadow. I normally do this for all of my tutorials, but make sure the light isn't too high or else you get raccoon eyes, which is these shadows beneath your eyes that's not really flattering. So have it at a nice distance above you, but just not like way above your head. All right, we turn it on. And there we go, adjust your camera settings, make sure that everything is right where you want it for the video. And here we are with the adjusted white balance, the lights coming in on us. Now some other things I'd recommend, getting some background lights, I mean I have an LED strip back there. It's just control with this little remote here so I can turn it off. I can change the color of it. I also have these little Christmas lights, as you guys can see. I'm not sure how well they're going to show up because of that LED strip back there. But just adds a little bit more life to the scene. The background isn't completely in the shadow. Because in the comments reading video, as you can see, the background's completely blown out and I'm in the shadows. But in this case, I'm nicely exposed. The background's slightly darker, but there's still some light back there to give life to it. So that way it's not just a dead drop off. And with the framing, it does take a little bit to clean it. I moved most of the stuff that's on my desk behind my chair so that way you can't see it. So it looks nice and clean on the video. The final thing, listen to the audio. My house is quiet, because in the video, I think my mom was vacuuming in the background, but right now everything's nice and quiet. I adjusted the audio level so they shouldn't be peaking on the camera, so it should sound halfway decent. And this is the built-in microphone. There's no external microphones anywhere. But there is still one final thing that we need to change, and that is the video editing. That comments reading video had no editing done to it. I basically hit the record button and just started talking. Then when I was done, I stopped recording. Don't do that. I mean, right now, I've been making a crap ton of mistakes, but I've cut them all out so that way it looks like I know what I'm doing. And in that budget gear video, I mean, I talk about editing software, lights, microphones, so definitely make sure to check that out. It's linked in the description below. I decided to hop on and do this video because they're very basic mistakes. I mean, this was when I was 12 years old. I just started. I bought a camera for the first time. I didn't know how to work it. I just basically turned it on and said, all right, let's go. These are very simple changes we made. Finding a new spot, making sure the house is quiet so that way there's not a bunch of weird background noises, adjusting the audio levels so that way 
way it's not peaking. Adding a simple light to the shot, a $30 light on top of a $10 light stand. Buying $4 Christmas lights from Home Depot to make that background just pop a little bit more. And plus, using an actual camera as opposed to an action camera. You can use your smartphone as well, because smartphones produce such great quality videos nowadays. And the other thing, there was no plan, there was no script. I just turned on the camera and started ranting. I've been following this to create this video, so definitely write it down, make a script. Just have some sort of guide to your video so you don't just go into it without any sort of idea. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. It's been a little bit weird with the videos recently, you know, doing a reacting video, doing something like this. But it's been a good time. I've just been creating content that I want to create, which means I'll be able to produce a better product for you guys. But that's it for me, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. Peace out.